Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was up at the 2021 Pigeon Forge Rod Run. One of the things I like to do is walk around and get a general walk around of all the uh, cool cars that are inside, minus the Scotty DTV Dirty Dozen. I do that in a separate video. So these are all the cars that were inside at the Pigeon Forge Rod Run 2021, minus the Dirty Dozen. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll check them out. How about that? Opening the show with a 66 SS Nova. Very nice car. Pitching for Dry Run 2021. Man alive, it was blown up. If you didn't make it, there's no way to put it into words. They had more cars than they had room for. I mean, every it everywhere. There was there was cool stuff everywhere. There's not just these cars on the end of the side, cruising the coast, 57 Chevy. They're giving that away. I did a feature on that. Make sure you check that out. But not only is the cool cars on the inside, there's cool cars outside. There's cool cars at the circle and then across the street at the vendor area. And the vendor area was packed with vendors. And what wasn't packed, what a nice Mustang. I got a feature coming on that too. 69 Boss 429 Mustang. Man, is that thing nice. Crazy nice. Very cool. But anyways, if there wasn't a vendor sitting on the ground, then there was cars sitting out there and the town was just man crawling with people the weather was good the mask mandate was lifted the the uh, regulations for number of people that you could have in the building was lifted it was like 2019 click of the finger that's not a real one of those shelby daytonas but that daytona style i just like it i mean i think that's like a factory five car or something but um, I dig them, man. I just think those are some of the coolest cars out. Metal Brothers, uh, latest build. That was a 78 or a 79 Trans Am that they turned into the generation before. Client wanted that big back window. And man, it turned out nice. Hopefully someday, some way, we can get a feature shot on that car. And David's uh, Camaro Gold Rush. So when I met Metal Brothers, I shot that and they appreciated it. And one thing led to another but man he's autocrossed the crap out of that car and it's still looking good chris jacobs as you can see in the background was uh the the uh celebrity guest that they had i don't know what year truck that is i'm not even going to try to guess but i will tell you that it was mighty fine very very nice a great mixture of custom and stock and i fell in love with this car love it first sight you know it's the colors i dig that tin woody I, I like the style of that wagon but the colors they chose was just crazy cool to me first generation camaro convertible absolutely nicer than new look at that interior look at that whole car that's what i was saying they, they didn't have not just customs they had restored cars there they had resto mod cars they're all at a high high level got a couple tri five sitting here that's a good looking car too. They were, they just, man, I mean, usually we bring the Dirty Dozen in for the spring and there's always a lot of nice stuff in there. But, uh, you know, I tell, you know, I, I, I think that, you know, we've invited some of the nicest cars that'll be in town, but the Dirty Dozen, those 12 just mixed in with the other 30 that they had inside there. I mean, they were all on the same level. They were just, there was just nice stuff everywhere. I would not have wanted to have been a judge at the 2021 Pigeon Forge Rod Run because you had to pick the top 25 and the ultimate five out of these cars. And yeah, there's a lot of them that just I wouldn't have wanted to tell the owner that they, uh, that they didn't make it if they didn't make it. And you know I'm a big fan of these, these shoebox type Novas and man that one was stances right, finished to a high level, just a very cool car. And that, look, you know, if you're into the stock stuff, I think that's like war bonnet gold or something. But at the end of the day, it's a vinyl top car. It's got real red lines on it. The car is exactly as it would have came from the factory is my guess. Just crazy cool. And you know, I love the crazy customs, but I like that stock stuff too. I like to see that stock stuff. A 302 Z28 Camaro. There was more than one of these up there. Real 302s. Not just the numbers on the hood, but the right engine under it also. The rally wheels look good on those cars. And I shot this car way back in the day. 
But as Mopars go, especially as stock Mopars go, I don't know if I have a more favorite one than this. I want to say this car's even been in the Dirty Dozen. I think I've had it in. But man, what a gorgeous car. And that lipstick red interior just pops and those red line tires and the, the wheels that are on it. It's just, man, I just love that car. Nice little Ford truck with a Ford in it. And it's blue. I argued with myself all weekend. Outside I saw it, I was like, man, that could be blue, but it looks black. And when I shot the video up there Thursday night, I was like, aha, uh -huh. I knew it was blue. And in the video, it's not as hard to tell, but it's one of those colors kind of like we used on John's truck where you get under certain lights, it looks black, and other, then you can see it under blue. Willys with flames. Willys is one of the cars that just almost has to have flames. And as flames go, those are the kind of flames that I like. I like those bright, in-your-face, those. To me, those are, uh, that's the kind of flames. If I was going to put them on a Willys, I'd want those kind of flames on it. Another Boss 429 Mustang that was just absolutely top-notch. I mean, window sticker was still in the window of this one. Blue on white. Grabber blue, I think, maybe. Every now and then, you know, I, I say things I wish I didn't say because I don't know for sure. I first spotted this car down at uh, Cruising the Coast at uh, one of the walk-around videos, and I was like, man, that was a cool car. I thought it was a Plymouth at the time. Then I ran into it in Birmingham, met the owner, fine gentleman that he is, and uh, he instructed me or straightened me out and let me know it's a Ford with a Ford in it. And we shot a feature on it there, and then it was up here at the, cruise, or, uh, at the Pigeon Forge Rod Run. And what's cool is we had the 12 dirty dozen in, but there was probably another two or three cars that had been on the channel that were there too. So we got some bonus ones in. Some nice little street rods back here in the corner. And if I'm not mistaken, they there's some of these, a couple of these one top 25s, maybe an ultimate five even. I like that little pickup truck. I dig the interior in it. I like it. It's cool. That was one of the award winners here. That's a really nice 32 Ford. Now, I know the folks, and they sold second-generation Camaros to buy that, so I didn't think that was too good of an idea at the time. I hope they're enjoying the car, but either way, it's, I mean, it's a top-notch build, that's for sure. Very nice car, for sure. Another 32, I dig the orange paint. I like the color. All of it, it's, I mean, it's a traditional looking hot rod. Which makes it a cool car. Big oak built Impala. Big views on Scotty DTV, Steve's Impala, very cool car. If you've not seen that video, check it out. I think it's got a 427 in it. Like an LS 427. I could be wrong. It's been a long time since I shot it. I'm a big fan of the car, but I get them twisted up. Hard to keep them straight when you've shot over 2,600 videos. Yet I do somehow. I, I, I recognize cars more than I do people's names. Do you know so-and-so? What do they drive? Or if I shot their car and they tell me, oh, yeah, I know that. Cool little Dodge truck. Sits good. I like the paint scheme on it. Impala with some skirts. And most of these cars I've got in the drive out video. So, what's cool about this is not only can you see them sitting still, but then you can uh, also check them out in the drive out video and see them, listen to them run and see them move. And I want to say that I got all the cars on the inside. I know there's a couple that I missed and I apologize, but. Um, you know what I say, I do the best I can. Nice little Cobra. Very clean, cool, I dig the uh, stacked injection there. And those are another cars that no matter how many of them are out there, they'll still be cool to see. F1K, John Jennings twin turbo, F100. Of course, there's a feature on that. It was in the Dirty Dozen for 2020.
good looking car. A couple of cars up here are green that you you know you wouldn't think green, but man, it worked. I'm sure that's a Malibu or a Chevelle on it. Chevelle. Super sport. Slicking. We've uh, got a feature on this car. This car's been done for several years and uh, built to a very high level. Same people that builds Alloway Hot Rods have built this car. And uh, when it got finished, we shot a feature on it. So you want a, even a closer look at that one, you can go over to scottydtv.com. There's a search feature and um, you can just search the tw over 2,600 videos that I have. Same people built this car. And it's one of those things that I'm not sure I, I would have understood all the green in the beginning, but man, does it work. You got to give credit where credit is due, and that is a good looking car. For being stock form looking, it pops. You are not going to miss that one. You're not going to let that one drive by. Of course, we've got Jerry Rice's 70 Chevelle. Just shot a feature on that. Bobby had done a Corvette and near this color combination a few years back, and Jerry saw it and he was on it as Chevelle. I think it works on the Chevelle too. It looks good. Well, the first generation Camaro. There's always several first generation Camaros at any show you go to. And you know, we have to be careful on how many we shoot because otherwise we could end up with nothing but first generation Camaros. But they the ones that were inside, they were all top notch. Finished to a high level. I dig this car. I don't even know what kind of car it is. Maybe I don't know. I ain't gonna guess. But it's got suicide doors on it, so I'm down with that. And you just think about rolling up somewhere in front of a restaurant or something and them doors swinging open and stepping out of that. No matter who you are, you'd look like a rock star. You don't see many of these hot rodded, but you used to remember to see a bunch of them on the street back in the day. Inherited it from his parents and turned it into a hot rod. Nothing wrong with that. Cutlass 442. Hoosier slicks on the back. You gotta like that. Riffies, Hot Rods, had some uh, cool cars in their booth. A lot of people wanted to buy that Camaro from Kevin. It wasn't for sale, but this little 32 is. So if you know anybody looking for a nice car, get with uh, Kevin over at Riffies. So there you go, a walkthrough of the 2021 Pigeon Forge Rod Run. If you didn't make it, you should have. If not, there you go, I did the video. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya. Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.